There's an epidemic that's hit YouTube in the form of social experiments that exploit homeless people for the financial gain of pranksters that produce them. These seem to have a positive message until you see them for what they really are. Each one starts with a contrived situation where they're secretly filming a homeless person to see what they do. By the end of the video, they surprise you with an act of kindness that leaves everyone in tears and makes the video go viral. It's all a sham so these pranksters can make money. They're showing you a pre-scripted situation that's written by people who are trying to evoke your emotions in order to capitalize on a viral video. And now, there's a death that's connected to one of these videos. I've done homeless outreach for over a decade, working on and off the streets with them. A couple of years ago, I and other YouTubers started posting videos of creative ways that we were actually helping the homeless. The videos went viral and it became trendy. Around this time, some YouTube prank channels were finding success within the hood pranks. Can I kick you? That's when you go harass black people in the hopes of getting beaten up on camera for it. Most of these look staged, but that's not important. When you get beat up on camera, you get more views. More views equals more money. Usually about a dollar per thousand views. That said, let's see how much they could make by exploiting racial stereotypes. You talking to the still ass motherfucker, this fat ass nigga. Yo, you wanna help me bust a nut real quick? Bust a nut. Yo, yo, relax! Oh, I left my phone in the... They needed something they could exploit that would make more money without the beatings, so they moved on to homeless people. Doesn't seem like they knew much about helping homeless people though, so they just stole ideas from other channels like they've done before. And paid people to write scripts that make people cry. The uh, video idea wasn't even his, it was pranksters.com and damn.com. They basically generate ideas for people that are associated with them. They're faking these videos and trying to pass them off as a real situation. Look, you want to fake a funny prank? That's cool. Most prank channels look about as real as pro wrestling anyway. Know what's not cool? Using the same tactics to exploit the suffering of homeless people who have nothing. You want to see how easy this is to do? Try this for a video. Go up and ask random strangers on the street for food, and when those mean, nasty people won't give you anything, have your friend give a pizza to a homeless guy along with instructions off camera to give you a slice when you walk up a minute later. Walk up, get your slice of pizza from the homeless person, sit with him for a minute, and act like you actually care about his suffering. Cue sad music and a disingenuous quote. Wait, no, that video's already been done. Twice, actually. It was originally done on this channel, and then four months later, the exact same video idea was poorly copied by the Oc channel. Famous for what again? You talking to the still ass motherfucker, this fat ass nigga. Oh, that's right. But they still spread a good message, right? Not when you see them for what they really are. Take this example of a video about a homeless man who was given $100, walked to a liquor store, bought food, and gave it to other homeless people. Numerous news stories and eyewitness accounts allege the entire video was fake and set up and that the homeless man, Kenny Thomas Nickel, was about to receive a six-figure inheritance. I was there. They didn't follow him. He, they drove him there. It still got almost 40 million views. The prankster started a fundraiser that raised over $145,000 for Kenny, except we don't know what happened to the money. Even his own family questions if he received it. I just don't feel Josh Lynn has been honest at all. It's too late now because five months later, Kenny Thomas Nickel was found dead of chronic alcoholism in an alleyway behind a convenience store. He was still listed as homeless at the time of his death. But these videos still spread a message, right? What message? The message that we live in a selfish society where most people care more about themselves than others and we shouldn't be that way? <laughs> wow, I would have never known that without that video you profited so much from and then left your subject to literally die. The irony is killing me. Again, these scripted videos that capitalize on your emotions are not telling the full story about homeless people's addictions, mental health issues, and suffering that needs to be treated. Who's really benefiting from these videos? The real message of these videos is that if you can find a way to exploit the suffering of someone in a way that evokes somebody else's emotions, you can get rich quick without ever having to actually help anyone. Want to end exploitation and actually help the homeless? Share this video. You can also donate to the charity I work with, Caridad, directly on their website. Thanks for watching.